every step I take, I do with pride. Here I am, a black, indigenous, trans woman. The music hits, the pyro hits, everybody is looking directly at me on a national platform, and I am living my best life. So yeah, every step I take is absolutely with pride because I know that me going out there simply just to wrestle is more than simply just wrestling to someone out there. And I see the messages, I see the DMs, I get the fan mail. Being able to come to work and have a company that backs you like All Elite Wrestling to have so many people have your back and be proud of you and be proud of who you are. Because I'm proud of who I am, but now I have employers and coworkers that are also proud of who I am. Times are changing. They don't quite change as fast as we wish they would, but they are changing. And people like me are helping cultivate that change. Hello, everyone, and welcome to AEW Dark Elevation. I'm Excalibur, joined by the world's strongest man, Mark Henry, and the dapper yapper himself, Justin Roberts. Your opening contest is set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Washington, D.C., the native beast, Nyla Rose. The native beast, Nyla Rose. Oh, hot. That's Mark Henry's favorite entrance. Guard your face in all of professional wrestling. Mark, you're not a fan of the heat. You are Jab Brown. For somebody that grew up in Texas, not a fan of the heat. Yeah, but the, it, the fire didn't come out in spurts and just burn all the hair off your face. You didn't spend much time by the, the barbecue, man. No, didn't do it. Just ate it. Yeah, at the kitchen table, not at the barbecue. Nyla Rose set to compete one-on-one -on -one to kick us off here tonight. Holy cow. Max the Impaler. Max the Impaler. We're gonna have to tell Justin how to, how to say that. I thought it was Impala, like the car. Yeah, bless his heart. Max the Impaler could be Abaddon's cousin, we're not sure. Man, they but gotta be related. You see the eyes? And collar and elbow tie up, neither Nyla nor Max willing to give ground here. Holy cow. Max charges in, Nyla Rose. Nice drop toe hold. Unexpected from Nyla. Ooh. And the drop kick lands right in the face of Max. Oh. And, ooh, even Nyla. You know, I, I see how that could happen. I mean, you know, you're standing there and you, one minute you drop kicking somebody in the face thinking that that's gonna do something and it didn't. Now then Max comes in with a big body block. A second oh. one on Nyla. And now Max trying to send Nyla into the ropes. Nyla puts on the brakes. And this is not a position we're used to seeing Nyla Rose in. No, we'll never get to see Nyla be the one that's having to do the more athletic maneuvers and reversals. It's always her being the one that's inflicting the pain. But the neck breaker from Nyla Rose now looking for the beast bomb. Max puts on the brakes. Oh, backdrop. When was the last time you see Nyla Rose get backdrop? Not very often. And a spear to the midsection from Max the Impaler. And Nyla Rose maybe underestimating her opponent here. And Max with some distance across the ring. Another oh. spear attempted, but Nyla able to avoid it. And the kick across the back. Nyla Rose. Boy, what's up, Look Max? The power. Yeah, the power. Oh, no. Nyla Rose on display. Max fighting it, but Nyla, the beast, bomb out of the corner. One, two, three. Well, I thought it was your winner, the native beast, Nyla Rose. Wow. I was not expecting that. I, I thought that that spear in the corner was going to be something that was going to damage Nyla Rose. Nyla was able to escape from getting some serious damage. Wow, Nyla Rose picking up the victory here in her opening contest. And right now, here's a word from AEW's official partner, DraftKings. AEW fans, with DraftKings Sportsbook, everyone can join a free-to-play pool for AEW's next big event. Just answer questions about what will happen and win a share of $10,000. And new Sportsbook customers can get $100 in free bets instantly. Win or lose, just bet $1 separate from AEW's next big event to cash in. 
Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, sign up with the promo code, enter the free-to-play pool, and make it rain with an official partner of AEW. Coming up next in Tag Team Action, Isaiah Cassidy, Mark Quinn, Private Party. Oh my God, is that Private Party? Yeah. This is a tag team bout set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Making their way to the ring from Brooklyn, New York at a combined weight of 381 pounds. Isaiah Cassidy, Mark Quinn, Private Party. Shots. I was talking about three point shots, right? Oh, okay. Basketball. Yeah, yeah, Steph Curry. Yeah, I was right? Oh, oh, I know. Oh. Like to go to the bar. Yeah. Hey, Martin, can I get a shot? It's a party. A private party. A private party set to compete. Tag team action here tonight. It's been a while. Camaro Jackson and SK Bishop. Oh, yeah. Let's go. It's been a while since we've seen Isaiah Cassidy and Mark Quinn team up in a straight up tag team match, but it's happening here tonight on Elevation. Yeah, it has been a while. They've both been doing a lot of solo endeavors, if you will. Looks like uh, Mark Quinn starting things off with SK Bishop. Camaro Jackson just got rocked and sent to the floor. Quinn. You gotta keep your eyes on both these gentlemen. Yeah, I mean, just think about how much Private Party learned from Matt Hardy about tag team wrestling and their stint in the Hardy family office. Office. Yeah. If you if you're gonna learn and pick a teacher to teach you tag wrestling, I think Matt Hardy would be at the top of my list. And then remember, Private Party thought they'd learned all they needed from Matt Hardy and just cast him aside like yesterday's trash. Camaro Jackson comes in, the Private Party able to avoid it. Step up. And the T. Harris there by Mark Quinn with the assist from Isaiah Cassidy. Wow, I'm, I'm, you also, because I had no clue what that was called. I tried. Oh wait, the Escalera oh. and the Tope. I just saw that. On Hero, off the top, and now Isaiah Cassidy charging in. Bishop rolls through, deep hook. Oh man, that was close. Now, SK Bishop on the verge of an upset. I think Isaiah Cassidy realized it. And Isaiah. Oh, he just broke his gold chain. Oh. He's going to be pissed about that. Get up, boy. This your boy. This your boy. Bishop getting the boots to the kidneys, courtesy of Isaiah Cassidy. Bishop can't admire his own work. He's got to follow something up rather than just do one maneuver and then start the pantomime to the crowd. And unfortunately for him, he kicked Isaiah Cassidy over to the private party corner, allowed Mark Quinn to make the tag. And now Camaro Jackson coming in, left and right-handed chops. And a boot to the gut to cut that right out. And private party. Teamwork. Back of Jackson up to the corner, but he comes Whoa! back out hot. He came out of the corner like a Camaro. That's the... That's the explosion that he needed, but he needs to follow up on this, Mark. Once again, the lights are really bright, so the guys are tending to find themselves looking at themselves and admiring their own work. Yeah, Private Party's been on the big stage before, perhaps not for their opponents. And now Private Party, the opportunity maybe to put this one away. Like to use that gin and juice, but now instead, Isaiah Cassidy inside the ring with the neck breaker. Mark Quinn up to the top, shooting oh. star press. One, two, three. In, in awesome fashion. Private party. Mark Quinn, Isaiah Cassidy looking as impressive as ever. Let's go. Very efficient tag team wrestling, and there's Mark Quinn off the top, the neck breaker from Isaiah Cassidy. Changing things up and scoring the victory tonight on Elevation. It's the announcement.
pro wrestling's biggest powerhouse is coming together to give you an event like you've never seen before. And send shockwaves through professional wrestling. This is about the undisputed elite and Bullet Club. It's the pay-per-view event the world has been waiting for. AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling presents Forbidden Door. Live Sunday, June 26th on Pay-Per-View. He will face Chris Jericho in a hair versus hair match this Wednesday night at Dynamite Road Ranger, but right now, Ortiz in action. Yeah. Oh, man. This next battle is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from New York, New York, weighing 216 pounds, Ortiz. Mark, we saw a couple weeks back on AEW Dynamite, Eddie Kingston had challenged Chris Jericho, Jericho Appreciation Society for blood and guts, but while he was doing so, Ortiz came in the ring and cut the hair of Chris Jericho. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Back down to Justin Roberts. And his opponent, Anaya. But Mark, after Ortiz, cut the hair of Jericho. Not only did Jericho agree to the blood and guts match, but he said the only way we'll do so is if Ortiz faces Jericho this Wednesday on Dynamite at Road Rager in a hair versus hair match. Wow, and you know what? I might want to turn that down because Chris is going to have a lot more to lose than just a one or two inches off his hair. He wants to shave Ortiz down to the nubs. And I mean, think about this though. Chris Jericho, not only does he have the Jericho Appreciation Society of Sports Entertainers, but he also has his band, Fozzy. Oh, nice power slam there by Ortiz. What kind of front man for a heavy metal band doesn't no have any hair. hair? It's not a hair band. Ludacris. No, I don't mean Ludacris Bridges. I meant it's Ludacris that he would have. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Gotcha, gotcha. Thanks for enlightening me. <laughs> uppercut there in that corner by Anaya. Ortiz staggers out towards center. Ortiz trying to make sure he gets, keeps his engine running. Right. Ortiz, nice. Crossbody off the corner. Ooh, the nice drop kick. Double foot drop kick. Solid contact in the chest of his opponent. Ortiz, Fisherman's Buster. Floats over. One, two, and three. Man, wow. You, you talk about a quick now night. This match. Ortiz. Wow. Ortiz with the Fisherman Buster. Could that be in the future of Chris Jericho? Could a shaved head be in the future Very of Chris right Jericho? Let me hit him with that. You can count to a thousand. And Ortiz, high impact offense here tonight. You know he's going to be motivated, headed into Dynamite Road Razor, live from St. Louis, Missouri, in two days' time where he will face Chris Jericho in a hair versus hair match. I cannot wait for that one. What about this tag team? The Professor Serena Deeb, the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Mercedes Martinez, and tag team action coming up next. This is a tag team bout set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing from Oakman, Virginia, Serena D. Mark, you want to talk about a tough and powerful tag team, Serena D and Mercedes Martinez. They have all the bases covered, veteran experience, unbelievable talent, and the thirst for making people look mad. They don't just want to win, they want to make an impression. Mercedes Martinez, the professor of professional wrestling and her tag team partner, the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. And her tag team partner from Brass City, Connecticut, she is the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Mercedes Martinez. 
undefeated. And before we get to this tag team match, I want to remind everybody that later this summer, AEW returns to Rochester, New York on Wednesday, July 6th at the Blue Cross Arena. Tickets on sale right now, AEWTIX.com and Ticketmaster.com. And then in August, AEW makes our debut in Columbus, Ohio, Wednesday, August 3rd at the Schottstein Center at Ohio State University. Tickets go on sale this Friday, AEWTIX.com and Ticketmaster.com. And their opponents, Tootie Lynn and Miranda Gordy. I'm going to have to tell you right now, we know Miranda Gordon's story, but Tootie Lynn is a very accomplished martial artist, a black belt. And they don't just hand those out very easily. No, they do not. And, of course, Miranda Gordy, the daughter of the late, great Terry Gordy. And right now, I actually look at the corner of Mercedes and Serena. A, a little bit of a standoff as to who's going to start this match. I think Serena won the standoff. I think that Mercedes kindly let her. I don't know, kindly. Take the lead. <laughs> but either way, I mean, this is something that if Miranda Gordy and Tootie Lynn can use to their advantage, I mean, they could come away with a huge upset victory in this match, Mark. You're exactly right. All you got to do is get those two to be at each other's throats. Mercedes and Serena. Two. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. So skillful. So quick. Two extremely strong-willed competitors, two lone wolves, I should say, and I mean, not, not competitors we've seen compete in tag team matches that often here in AEW. Yeah, that could be the hill for them. That could be the Achilles heel. They could not work, to get, work good together. And Mercedes is asking for a tag. And not, right. a, not an emphatic tag there no. by the professor. Well, I'll show you. Let me show you how to do this. Mercedes Martinez and Tootie Lynn now pairing off. Arnold will tie up attempted by Tootie Lynn, but Mercedes, nice evasion, sweeps out the legs and then floats around into a front face lock. Well, I mean, you can very easily get a choke hold in right there. You get that front face choke and she can be done. And notice how Mercedes controlling the head of her opponent where the head goes, the body will follow. And now beautiful vertical suplex by the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. Did she give him the thumbs up or thumbs down? Oh, she oh. pointed at Deeb. Yeah, and Serena Deeb not looking to impress. Cover. Tootie Lynn kicking out. Keep and it keep it up because Tootie can hit you with one of those kicks. Now, you know what could be dangerous for Tootie Lynn and Miranda Gordy if this gets into a, a game of one-upsmanship right. between Mercedes and Serena? I'll show you. And I'll, I'll, I'll hurt my opponent worse than you. Serena Deeb comes through with that neck breaker, plants Tootie Lynn, center of the ring. Wow, Serena showing her aggression. Well, if she tried to pick me up, I'd dead waiter too. I'd go right down to my ass, make sure I didn't get thrown around. Mark, I don't think Tootie Lynn's trying to pick you up anytime soon. Well, I mean, I'm just putting myself in the place. <laughs> oh. Excalibur. Boot to the midsection on Miranda Gordy. And you see Tootie Lynn trying to trying to crawl, but Serena's got her locked up tight, and now the Professor with the suplex and wrenching back on the knees of Tootie Lynn. Man, you can handle one woman, I'll beat two of them up at the same time. That's the message that he just gave no, Mercedes Martin. No real urgency there out of Serena. Oh, wait a minute. Mercedes tr trying to tag herself in and, and does and successfully does. there. She said, I got it. Yeah, thank you. Steve, Steve said, what? Oh, spine buster on Miranda Gordy. And things breaking down a little between Mercedes and Serena. Not seeing a lot of cohesion, but. Oh, oh man. Mercedes Martinez just spiked Tootie Lynn on top of Miranda Gordy. Did you see the look on Dave's face? Like, okay, That's pretty good. Running elbow strike. And notice Mercedes once again looking over the corner. At Serena Deeb, and then the slingshot turning Tootie Lynn inside out. Wow, the dragon is not breathing fire tonight. Mercedes comes off the. Oh, my Lord! That was a. I think she's out. A brutal elbow to the back of the head, and now Mercedes Martinez looking to set up Tootie Lynn for that Brass City sleeper. And, oh, oh, wow. This, this, this is one of the most deadly. 
duos that I think I've ever seen in women's wrestling. Right. Judy Lynn about to be locked in the Brass City Sleeper. Miranda Gordy locked in the Serenity Lock. Nowhere for them to go. Both women are tapping. Judy Lynn and Miranda Gordy tapping out. Deeb will not let, well, she will go. The team of Serena Deeb and the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Mercedes Martinez. Mark, they might not like each other. They may not get along, but they are a hell of a tag team. Yeah, they, they got the job done. And I, I'm telling you, it, it's, it's, it's very rare you see this much talent in the ring at one time. If they can get on the same page, they can be a dominant force. Absolutely. Congratulations, Mercedes Martinez and Serena Deeb. AEW fans, with DraftKings Sportsbook, everyone can join a free-to-play pool for AEW's next big event. Just answer questions about what will happen and win a share of $10,000. And new Sportsbook customers can get $100 in free bets instantly. Win or lose, just bet $1 separate from AEW's next big event to cash in. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, sign up with the promo code, enter the free-to-play pool, and make it rain with an official partner of AEW. Daddy Magic, Matt Menard, Cool Hand, Angelo Parker of the Jericho Appreciation Society in Tag Team Action, next. The Jericho Appreciation Society, the five-star symbol of excellence for sports entertainers. This tag team bout is set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Representing the Jericho Appreciation Society, at a combined weight of 397 pounds, Daddy Magic, Matt Menard, and Cool Hand, Angelo Parker. Well, we cannot talk about the Jericho Appreciation Society without talking about Blood and Guts coming to Detroit, Michigan on Wednesday, June 29th at the Little Caesars Arena. Tickets on sale eight right now, AEWTIX.com. And then in August, we'll be debuting in Grand Rapids, Michigan for Rampage and Battle of the Belts 3 Friday, August 5th at the Van Andel Arena. Tickets on sale right now, AEWTIX.com and Ticketmaster.com. And their opponents, Danny Adams and Warhorse. Danny Adams and Warhorse. Oh, Whoa, just got yeah. struck by Menard and Parker. I think at the last second, Danny Adams saw it. Didn't even get his glasses off. Can't hit a man with glasses. Right. Daddy Magic, Matt Menard, and Cool Hand, Angelo Parker. He still got his glasses off. I don't understand that. Get glass in his eye. He's like, he's like Kurt Rambis, playing with the goggles on. He looks like my high school basketball coach. And the snap suit. Oh, and the stomp. And, and I think he stomped. Yeah, he broke the glass off glasses. his face. Wow. Well, the Jericho Appreciation Society, sports entertainers, as they like to be known. Oh, look at this. Daddy Magic, Matt Menard. How's that man going to drive home, Mark Henry? I, I hope that he's not driving. Maybe he's going to be going home in an ambulance. Oof. Oh, you don't, Jeez, they don't typically take it home. Stop shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Menard sends Adams hard into the corner. And Warhorse, we've seen him in action here in AEW before. Very formidable opponent, but right now, the Jericho Appreciation Society on such a roll, especially after the win, after that Anarchy and Arena match at Double or Nothing. Oh, oh, look at this teamwork. Daddy Magic and Cool Ange, they both have a leg up on these guys. they worked together for years now. Yeah, known by many names, but known today as sports entertainers. And Oh, swing it up, miss by oh. Cohen. Wow. No, he did not. The oldest. Oh, trick. well, he answered it with a Oh, so that's right what there. you get for the oldest trick in yeah. the book? That's why I'm going to try it on right you. That's right there next to. Hey, look out behind you. Oh, what's over? Oh. God. Damn it. Oh. Adams made the tag out to Warhorse. Let's go. Big comeback. Warhorse. 
Morris snatches the side headlock. Big kick up. And oh! Larry! The War Horse is fired up. And War Horse charging in. Clothesline in the corner. A Menard one on Parker. Oh, dropped toe hold. Oh! And War Horse gets a little bit of that taste. It's that teamwork we talked about earlier. Yeah, that's right. This, this duo from the Jericho Appreciation Society now has War Horse all hooked up. For oh, the my Lord! D right on the top D of his head. Thanks for coming, War Horse. But these men are a force in sports entertainment. Here are your winners Matt Menard and Angelo Parker. Wow, that looks so bad. Yeah, you know, Chris Jericho is sitting in the back with a big smile on his face after seeing his guys victorious. Yep, picking up the win here tonight. Daddy Magic and Cool Hand. Hey, Kingston, sit down, Ortiz. You want to do it again? You want to do it again? The Runaway, Ruby Soho in singles action next here on AEW Dark Elevation. Yay! This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Lafayette, Indiana, Ruby Soho! Saw Ruby Soho's jacket at All Elite Wrestling. All are welcome. You can celebrate Pride Month all month long on TBS, True TV, and TNT. Right here in AEW. And everywhere else for that matter. Happy Pride Month. And her opponent, Heidi Howitzer. Wow, Heidi Howitzer, she's evil. Who'd you rather see in a dark alley? Huddy Howitzer, Max the Impaler, or Nyla Rose? Or neither, I guess. Or none. Uh, none of the above. All right. Is that on the list? I think so, yeah. Heidi Howitzer looking to show her strength here. But Ruby Soho doing a good job of staying out of the corner. Ruby's been around enough to know that if you get it locked in the corner with a competitor of that size, it could be all over. Yeah, she, she's smart. Well, I don't know. Heidi Howitzer calling for the Greco Roman knuckle lock. And Howitzer. Oh, the headbutt! Stunning I knew, Ruby I knew. Soho. Well, how did I know? How did I know? Oh, Ruby was going for no future right there. Howitzer blocked it. Oh. Went for the leg drop. Ruby. Oh, oh face. Oh, oh, right oh. foot. Hey, I'd like to introduce you to the face. Ruby Soho. Looking for a place kicking job with the Kansas City Chiefs. As now back heel trip. Whoa. But Howitzer sends Ruby into the ropes and then the clothesline takes down Ruby. Too big, too strong for that maneuver. Ruby is gonna have to make sure that she realizes that she's out of her weight class. She's gonna have to like do some things that are a little bit unorthodox for her. And I mentioned the Kansas City Chiefs because we are right here in uh, Independence in the Missouri. Home. Yeah. In the uh, Cable Dahmer Arena, we're sold out here tonight and Ruby Soho just getting Bashed into the corner. Oh! Holy cow. A, oh, Ruby did not like that. Look at her face. Ruby Soho, back elbow. Backs off Howitzer for a second. Planted her right in the corner. And Ruby Soho able to turn the match around on a dime, and now the shoulder, repeated shoulders to the midsection. Well, if, that, if that's what it takes, Excalibur, to get, for her to get mad to get a job done, well, then get mad. Well, did you notice that? Ruby so maybe a little frustration. She put her hands on Stephon Smith, who's doing it again. Whoa, wait a minute. I, she's lost the temper flaring here for Ruby Soho. I mean, you have to remember, Ruby Soho came so close in that Owen Hart Foundation tournament. Those frustrations that seem to be boiling over here. 
Ruby getting extremely physical. Ooh. Big headbutt. And Ruby, yeah, I think Ruby rocked herself a little bit with yeah, that headbutt. Yeah, that, that headbutt made her a little dizzy. Looking for that Saito suplex. Wow, that's the second or third time in this match that Ruby's tried to do something that was just kind of not becoming of the person that she's wrestling with. Yeah, I, I think Ruby maybe not thinking with the full strategy here, not, not the full playbook. She's getting a little impulsive, perhaps. But Ruby, oh, the, ooh, the neck breaker with the crown of Ruby's head went at the base of the skull. And now Ruby Soho, destination unknown, center of the ring. One, two, three. The winner of this match, Ruby Soho. You don't have to prove your toughness. You just got to get the job done. I think Ruby's going to have to go back to the drawing board, even with a win right here. Yeah, the great victory for Ruby Soho, but some uncharacteristic aggression yeah. very nearly cost her this match. Well, congratulations, Ruby Soho. The Factory's QT Marshall and Aaron Solo take on Dark Order's Evil Uno and number 10 in our main event. AEW Dark Elevation main event is a tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring at a combined weight of 430 pounds, Aaron Solo and QT Marshall. And before our main event gets underway, I want to remind everybody that this Wednesday, AEW Dynamite Road Rager coming your way live in St. Louis, Missouri at the Chaffetz Arena. And then next week, UWM Panthers Arena in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Ticket for both events on sale right now. AEWTIX.com. Join the Dark Order. Throw it up. Throw it up, Excalibur. And their opponents. At a I'm combined a weight here. of 469 pounds. The team of Evil Uno and Dark Order number 10. While I'm at it, AEW returns to Georgia next month with our debut in Savannah on Wednesday, July 13th at the End Market Arena. And then the following week, we'll be returning to the Atlanta area at the Gat South Arena in Duluth, Georgia on Wednesday, July 20th. Tickets for both events on sale, AEWTIX.com and Ticketmaster.com and Mark Henry as if he was swearing an oath in court, has had his right hand up the entire time. I'm a car carrying member. With the Dark Order. Oh, yeah. How come I never see you in uh, BTE in any of their, their skits? I've done kind a of few, yeah. but I try my best to stay out of the line. Oh, uh, you don't want to overshadow them. No, no. Your presence is so, so massive. Modest guy, modest guy. Well, you want to talk about massive? Number 10, Preston Vance, the powerhouse of the Dark Order, he and Evil Uno. Set to compete against the factory, Aaron Solo and QT Marshall here tonight in our main event. And over the past few months, Mark, we have seen quite a rivalry develop between the factory and Dark Order. We have, and, and, and we talked about size and presence. Evil Uno is no slouch in that department either. No, and he's he's got the power, but also Evil Uno's got the speed too, and the craftiness. That's something that um, most people underestimate about Evil Uno. And, and very resilient. He's one of those guys that can take a licking and keep on ticking. Different co different commercial, but same same premise. Oh, he's coming in for the collar elbow tie up, and Solo just caught him with a toe kick to the midsection. No, uh, he he would do that. He's he's the prized pupil of QT. And Uno takes down Aaron Solo. Solo goes for the trip. Uno able to avoid it. Oh, Manhattan drop. Kick to the knee. And the stomp on the fingers. Evil Uno wrenches the wrist of Solo, maintains control. That's right, control and keep him on your side of the ring. Makes the tag after the big man, number 10. Oh, he let him go. Solo has been in the grips of 10 before. He doesn't want any part of him. And remember, number 10, Preston Vance, he was a student at the factory years ago, but when Mr. Brody Lee came to the Dark Order, 
He handpicked Preston Vance. Ooh. Handpicked number 10 to join the Dark Order. And there we see why the power, the explosivity of number 10. QT tried to, well, he tried again and got, got hit again. Oh, Solo, take that with you. Uh, that was a good distraction for Solo. Ooh, and that was a solid right hand. You want to talk about craftiness, QT Marshall has got all of that and more as well, Mark. Notice QT is holding that wrist, making sure that he stays in that corner to cut the ring off. Well, it didn't work that well because he just overpowered him. Yeah, the power of, of Vance is unparalleled in the Dark Order. QT Marshall giving the assist to Aaron Solo, pulling him out of harm's way. The pump kick from number 10. Oh, powerful guy. Cross there it is. Crossbody attempted by Solo. But number 10 turns it into a delayed vertical suplex. Bringing the crowd here in Independence, Missouri to their feet. You say Missouri or Missouri? Missouri. It's, it's, and I don't even realize that there's the Z's in there. No, I was Mizzou. About, they say Mizzou. I was talking about the end of Missouri. Uh, Missouri. Yeah. I think it's a local thing. We may have to get a pronunciation. Get a, get a translator. Oh, Uno! The, the one second not so delayed vertical suplex. Yeah, he let Vance be the one to hold him up there. He's got all the big muscles. Well, the fans chanting one, just as they were chanting 10 for Vance. Big right hand delivered by Evil Uno. He sends Solo into the ropes. Oh, Solo reverses and look, look, look at, at that. QT, that's the craftiness of QT Marshall I was talking about. And the knee sends Evil Uno still on the outside. Uno didn't even see it coming. The the tag is made to factory back in the driver's seat just like that. Double sledge off the apron. Oh, wow. Go right to the crowd. You bought a ticket. I'm getting paid to do this shit. Oh. Whoa. Oh, we're going to get demonetized thanks to QT Marshall. QT is not holding any punches. Definitely not. Yeah, and he just let one go, hit Evil Uno right across the cheek. Big shot across the side of the face, oh, Evil wow. Uno, and that one. Aaron Solo sunk that kick in right below that rib cage. Well, and you notice how, too, QT pushing Uno's face up so Uno so couldn't see, it, see coming. it coming. Exactly. Yeah. Good and teamwork. Those are the those are the type of shots that, that hurt the most, the ones you don't you see coming. You really don't see it. And, and I'm not a fan, but I admire the strategy. That's what makes QT Marshall such an effective leader of the factory. But it's also the experience, the savvy of Evil Uno to fight his way out of the factory's corner. QT, the referee has got, you've got to do something, ref. Come on. But QT, I mean, he, he got the tag legally, and he put himself in between Uno and number 10 to yeah, prevent now Dark he's mocking. And, Oh, oh. Instead, Rick Knox said, fool me, fool me 10 times, shame on you. Fool me the 11th, shame on me. I don't think that's how it goes, but it's, I got the message. I mean, you just haven't called Here comes the big tag. Dark Order matches as I have, and yes, it is the big tag. A wild swing and a miss by QT Marshall. Whoa! Back body drop by Vance. And, oh, he's on fire. 10, charging in, trouble. and there's that spine buster. The spine on the pine, courtesy of number 10. He's got the crowd behind him. And he's looking for that full Nelson. Typically, oh, Ooh. that high boot caught Solo across the jaw. Diamond cutter attempt, maybe? Uno puts on the brakes, but eats a back elbow for his trouble. Now Vance, once again, looking to lock in the full Nelson. QT thrust kick. But the discus lariat! Man, he sent QT flying like he weighed 100 pounds. The tag is made. Evil oh, Uno no. headed up to the top. 
So, oh. high rent district. Tana Tomiko. Two. Oh, QT Marshall. Close, but no cigar. And that's the thing for all the disgusting tactics that QT Marshall engages in. He's incredibly tough, Mark. Incredibly tough. And you know what? A guy like QT that he's, he's taught so many guys. He, you have to learn. You have to, you have to, for people, you have to lead by example. And he does that on a daily basis. Oh, QT was going for that diamond cutter once again. Evil Uno hit a big elbow strike. Now, oh wait, corkscrew kick by Aaron Solo. And QT, diamond cutter center of the ring. The Factory are going to steal it here. Two, no! No! Pandemonium. Vance doing a great job of pushing Aaron Solo into the pinning predicament to break things up. If, if it weren't for that, I think Uno would have given up the one, two, three to that diamond cutter. He's still, he's still on the men. Well, he moved out of the way. But you can see Uno very unsteady on his feet. Chops down the clothesline attempt, the jawbreaker. Blind tag made by number 10. Oh, leak through the ropes with the spear. Corkscrew kick avoided. Oh, wheelbarrow. And springboard. The slick shot, hot shot combination by the Dark Order. And this could be the end of the night for Aaron Solo. Ten's got the full Nelson locked in. Solo getting ragdolled, and he goes to sleep. Here are your winners, Evil Uno and Dark Order number 10. Hell of a win, Excalibur. Hell of a win, hell of a main event here tonight on AEW Dark Elevation. Take a look back at some of the highlights. There were so many things that could have ended this match, but because of the strategy of QT Marshall. Well, a great win here tonight for the Dark Order, for myself, for Mark Henry, for Justin Roberts. Thank you for joining us here tonight. Be sure to join us tomorrow night, AEW Dark, and then this Wednesday night, live at 8, 7 Central on TBS, AEW Dynamite, Road Rangers.